Hey guys, how are we going? Been a, a nice busy day, so even though I felt like terrible because of self-infliction, the reason why I'm doing weights is to flush everything out and help me feel better. So, I'm going to start off with just some body weight movement, um, some skipping. If you have a skipping rope, good. If you don't have a skipping rope, don't worry. Today's workout is using equipment. So if you have equipment, great. If you don't have equipment, what you can do is get some bands and do all of these movements using bands. You can also then, for weights, you can use cans or you could use water bottles filled up to add weight or even pots um, with cans in them is another way of doing them as well. Um, so join along, do with what you can. Um, if you go to do this and you have any questions about what you could um, do this with, reach out so I can assist you in creating a successful workout. Okay guys, so we're gonna move for skipping. Let's just go. Let's just go for a good amount of time skipping. Um, let's go for let's go for a hundred skips. Okay, let's warm up the whole body. Skipping is actually very good. I'm going to lose count because I'm talking. Skipping is actually very very good for um, the lymphatic system. And so for our diplomats and our guardians, even though we have huge calves, we actually um, it's actually a weak point for us. And so actually getting in and doing. Um, Calf exercises, I'm not very good at skipping today, is actually really, really good for um, our endocrine system. So it actually helps our body to flush toxins out. And it's super, super important. This is why it's probably better not to skip with an actual rope. Um, that's why for, for us uh, bigger bodies, it's actually really, really good to skip. So it flushes our endocrine system, flushes our lymphatic system, um, and assists us in just alleviating the body. But Another thing is if you're just standing there, sitting there, you can actually, a really good thing is actually to sit there and um, do standing calf raises. They cramp up very easily, but it's very, very good for us to keep moving out, especially at the moment with all this immunity talk going on. It's super, super important to actually um, use our calf muscles because it will actually strengthen an endomorph's immune system. Fun fact anyway. We're almost there. A couple more. I hope you guys are doing a better job than me at skipping. Skipping is one of those things. Some days, you're good. Some days, not so good. So we're going for 100 skips. 20 more. Nine, twenty. Hey, who's joining in? Who's watching? Today we're doing weights. So I'm just... Warming my body up with some skipping and talking about why skipping is so beneficial for endomorphs. Now, next move is just going to be some lunges, so just some bodyweight ones. So, hands on your hips, stepping forward, and we're just going to alternate 10 lunges. Two, three, four. How do you guys go? Did you just get to watch the, um, the cooking earlier? I'll, um, I'll post up the photos of the finished job shortly. And I'm going to jump back online a bit later and make up some, uh, I will make up some uh, breakfast muffins. So stay tuned for that one. So your whole body should be feeling nice and warm now, nicely lubricated. So today's workout, I managed to go and get all of my weights, which is awesome. So you guys can see there is my weight section. So I have a barbell. I have some rubber bands, I have another smaller barbell and some dumbbells. So what I will do is actually bring those back in here and I'll do it just here in front of you guys. So as you can see in the description, we're going to do some deadlifts. So you guys are going to learn about deadlifts today. We're going to do some core work and we're going to do some chest. So with a deadlift, very, very important, it is just a squatting movement. But the biggest thing with a deadlift is ensuring that your bum goes low enough and you pull your lats on. So our lats are back here. So we're going to be going, pulling everything back nice and tight. So from here, get your, your, your bar set up and we'll just practice some um, body weight ones first. Uh, actually, I might even just grab these dumbbells to give you a, a demo this way. So from the front, it's going to look feet shoulder width apart, or a little bit wider than shoulder width. Okay. We're going to come down and collect our bar from in front of us, chest up, shoulders back. From this position here, we're going to stand straight up and pull the bar back, pulling our short blades down and back. 
So if you've got dumbbells and you don't have a barbell, this is one variation. All the way down, so just do these with me to warm your body up. Okay, so here, breathe out, pull up. If you have bands, your variation would look something like this. So you would stand on the band with your feet shoulder width apart. Coming down and grabbing just beside your ankle, bum down, chest up, and you're gonna stand, stretch the band out, come back down. Stretch the band out, squeeze the butt at the top, come back down, keeping your chest up, shoulders back, squeeze, and back down. Okay, so hopefully that feels good for you on the side view. Feet shoulder width apart, coming down, bum back, chest up, shoulders back. Make sure there's no curve in the back. You wanna have your chest up, bum down low, lift and squeeze. Returning to the base, try not to have your knees coming too far forward. Really, you wanna sit in your heels, up and back down, okay? So, let's get into it. That's our deadlift. Any questions on that one, please let me know. You can see one of my sisters has messaged me. Let's just double check she's not. Oh, nope, it's a silly message. Okay, so getting into it guys, we're gonna go for 12 deadlifts and then we're gonna get into our renegade rows. Now the reason why we're doing this style, this is a really, this style is really designed for um, the bigger body, so endomorphs. Um, this is our style of hit training. It's where it's been scientifically proven that for the bigger bodies, the endomorphs, it's very important. Every other training session I've done has been more for the activators and the connectors and the crusaders. This is really for the diplomats because it's more about even steady pace, taking your time. Um, and what I'm actually doing is you'll actually see that we're training the lower part of the body, then we come to the upper part, lower part, upper part. And what that does is it forces the body to pump blood to the both ends of the body, which actually is a greater metabolic booster but it's really, really good because diplomats and guardians need their heart rate um, up um, and the more blood circulation we can get happening in the body, the better. So um, yes, a big one today for the diplomats and the guardians. So, coming in here, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna go for our 12. If you are using a bar, make sure the bar is against your shins. You're gonna come down, chest up, shoulders back, arching your back um, in the opposite, so arching your back as if someone's pushing their hand into your back and you're pushing back against, okay? So from here, down, grabbing the bar, breathe in, stand and squeeze. Returning the bar back to the ground, lock your shoulders on, drop your bum, lock your shoulders back, squeeze your shoulder blades back, breathe and stand up. So we're going for 12. I did lose count. Deadlifts, if I ever had only 10 minutes to work out, I would always choose deadlifts. These are, hey guys, hey Mandy. These are, <laughs> yes, these are one of the best exercises you can do. Because as you can see, it actually uses your entire body. So, it's using my back, it's using my shoulders, it's using my knees, my calves, everything. Deadlifts are like the holy grail. And my goal throughout this time is to teach everyone at home how to do deadlifts. Because these are the best move you can ever do. Um, our next exercise is the Renegade Row. So as you can see with a connector workout, or an activator workout, all the hit trainings, it's like one thing, next thing, next thing. For a diplomat, it's actually very important that we take our time and get our heart rate back down and then go for it again. Now, Renegade Rose, these can be done um, in a plank position is best, but if you can't do a plank, you can do it from your knees, but really making sure, yeah, really making sure your back is straight. So if you're on your feet, you're up here, in a plank, bum down, not up in the air, keep your bum flat, and from here, you're then gonna row each side up. Okay, trying to keep the body as straight as you can. I've not got the best room here with that bar behind me. What's Mandy saying? Love you, watch later. Cool, cool. Go, you're probably making dinner now anyway. Okay, so from here, you're also gonna add a push up in the middle. Uh, and for today, we will, because we're gonna do some extra push ups. So from here, Feet in the air, and the other trick is, the wider you have your feet, 
the more balance you will have. So from here it is wide, row up. If you don't want to do it with a weight, if you don't have weights, you can definitely just do it and just squeeze it up and back with your hand, keeping your hand in nice and tight to your side. Squeeze up and in, come back down, change hands, squeeze up and in, and really focus on squeezing those shoulder blades back together. All right, so let's go. We're doing for 12 in total. So here, set, and go. Row one side, row the other side, do a push-up. Oh yeah, so this is doing our back. Row one side, row the other side, push-up. And our chest. Row one side, other side, push-up. Row one side, that's number four. Row one side, Talia's watching, hey. Push up, nope, as in nope, you don't have weights. Oh, you guys are talking to each other, go for it. You guys are just gonna watch me train and then laugh about it later. That's okay guys, I'll do the fitness for us all. <laughs> then press, one side, other side, and press. Woo! Mandy will have to do Mikhail's program shortly. I know you messaged me about Mikhail doing it. I will work out a program for him to do with his broken hand. One side, other side. Press. And last one. One side, other side, and press. Nice! Right, now we're gonna do some lunges. For this one, I've got a good little barbell here and my face looks going berserk so that I don't hit my head. I'm going to bring it up over my head and here I'm just going to do standing lunges. So you can choose to lunge forward, you can choose to lunge, make sure there's no dog behind me, you can choose to lunge backwards. It's entirely up to you. You use the very similar muscles, but also different balancing points. So we're just going to go for 12 in total. So coming down, lunge one, lunge two. Keep it wide. Try not to, I've got the camera position there so you can actually see how wide my feet are. So I'm not crossing over myself. Keep a wide stance, come down, press. The more of a wide stance you have, the better. And you guys can see my knees. Let me know. Are my knees wobbling? If they do, that's what you want to work on. You want to ensure that you're not wobbling your knees at all. And lunge. Big step, lunge. So, you can see on the side profile. Step forward, lunge, come back. And that is not the greatest on this floor. Step up, hand back. Lunge forward, come down. Press up. Stay safe. Come down, lunge, push back. Come down, lunge, push back. Lunge, push back. Two more. Lunge, push back. Lunge, push back. Okay. Our next exercise, I had to write them down so I would not forget them. Uh, lunge push ups. So, with a push up, if you guys can't do push ups, don't freak out. With a push up, it's really quite good to actually um, focus on the negative. So, feet together, or if you're going to do it on your knees, feet together, knees apart, about um, hip width. And from here, I want your hands, if you're using a mat, you actually really need to have the hands outside the mat. And what we're going to focus on is coming down. We're going to do four seconds. So the other one was done with um, pulling and doing a quick push up, and it was quite narrow and fast. Okay, lunging. And Lexi's laughing at me. <laughs> That's so good. I'm so glad you're doing it with me. I'm actually going to start doing these via Zoom soon so you guys can see me better. But what I actually want to do is um, next week onwards, we're actually going to do it via Zoom. So you just click the Zoom link and join me on your phone or your computer. Um, and that way I can give you guys technique as well. So I'm giving you guys some foundations today. You've got a couple of days to practice and then I'm going to have you guys on Zoom so I can see you. Okay, back to back. Okay, so hands nice and wide. And we're here for the push up. We're going to have four seconds down. One, two, three, four. Touch the ground. Pause. 
push back up. One, two, three, four, touch the ground, back up. One, two, three, four. And as you're doing this, really focus on squeezing your shoulder blades back. I always say to my clients when I'm with them, it's about, you're actually almost, if you do this, you create cleavage at your front. When we do this, we want to create cleavage at your back. Because the best way for you guys to understand and remember that one is trying to create cleavage with your back. Four, down, and up. Make sure you're touching. One, two, three, four, touch. Come back up. One, two, three, four, touch. Come back up. I'll keep doing this while we're talking. I'll talk while we're doing it. Now is actually a really good time for everyone to be paying attention and everyone's going to be buying it up. But keep an eye out because a lot of the gyms are potentially going to shut down and sell off their equipment. So if you're wanting stuff, now is a great time to probably grab a couple bargains. Unfortunately, it is because of the demise of one of my favorite places in the world, which is the gym. And up. Two more. One, two, three, four. And up. One, two, three, four. And up. Good job. Whew. Oh, sweating. Okay. And next one. How was that? How was that? The dog's already sitting on my mat. Get off. Next one is push-ups. Oh, sorry, not push-ups. Next one's mountain climbers. So, mountain climbers are awesome. If you have wrist problems and you have some dumbbells, these are really, really good to help you um, hold your hands in a different position. So, if you can't hold yourself like, like a flat hand, using things like dumbbells is a great way of assisting with any injuries on the wrist. And so for today, we're going to do um, mountain climbers. I am going to do some really funky ones um, indoors in the, through, through this week. And it will involve socks and slippery floors. <laughs> so from here, we're going to do mountain climbers. 20. 20 doubles. So mountain climber can come straight in the middle. Or you can come across. Or you can come outside. You choose. Vary it up. Out. Some in. Five. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Filming. Come in. They've just culled the ten person thing outside for two. Two people outside. Okay. For gyms. A, for everything. For everything. Unless your immediate family. Wow. Culled it for two things. I don't know how that fuck that's going to work. So pretty much you and your partner can go for a walk, but that's it. You can't go within fucking anywhere of anyone. Government just made an announcement. Same as when you go to the supermarket. I don't know how the fuck they're going to do that. Oh, that's Beaches bizarre. Beaches and shit that are all closed there. No more than two? Wow. Yeah. It's getting serious, guys. That's why we're doing this. We're doing our workouts and our training sessions from home. Right, the next one is shoulders. Now, you can do your shoulders with dumbbells. You can do your shoulders with cans. You can do your shoulders with resistance bands by... This one's a bit of a heavy-duty one for a shoulder workout, but you'll get the gist. So you could do shoulders like this and pressing up above. Make sure you keep your core tight. Squeeze all the way up, coming down. Control the movement. Actually, this band's actually going to work really well, quite well. I'm going to do it with this. Here and up. We're going for 12. That's four already. Five. Squeeze. Six. Control. Squeeze up. Come down. Seven. Squeeze up. And come down. Eight. What? What? What's the what for, Mandy? I think my um, thing's quite delayed. The other version of that is here. And pressing above your head. Up. Control down. Up. Control down. Up. Down. Try and keep your belly button tucked. None of these ones. Try and keep it all tight. Wee muscle. Squeeze your bum. Squeeze your wee muscles. Pressing up. And down. Try not to. Arch your back. Keep it all tucked. Nice and tight. I'm going to do two more. One. And two. Whew. How is that? Nice burn. Our last one is toe taps. Some cool workouts we're going to get to do with these. Let me know, guys, what equipment you've got at home. Um, so I know what you guys can... <sighs> Baby says out... But was loving. Oh, no worries, honey. Off you go. Um, the last one is toe taps. So this one can be done two different ways. I'll go here for you. So you can do it feet in the air, and you can do this version of toe taps. 
okay or you can do one that i like is actually having your feet right the way up to your bum right the way up to your bum nice and close and from here it's lifting your head off the ground and into a crunch position and all you're going to do is try and reach for your little toe one two so you just rope just slightly twisting the core not too much pressure through the neck two three four five six seven excuse me Ed. excuse me Doug. move so from this position it's going to look a little something like this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i'm doing 14 because i did seven before and 14. Woo! should feel a bit of a burn on that one guys that should be a nice feeling there dog get off the mat go bugger off <laughs> okay and then catch your breath guys that's a full round done you're gonna aim to do three to four of those depending on how much time you've got to play they actually put a moratorium in. You can't be kicked out or evicted from your house for the next six months. Hey, that's good news. Oh, wow. <sighs> All right, so get your breath, deep breath in. Now we're going to go back in for round two. Uh, any questions, pop them in. Um, I'm trying to keep on to the chat. Mandy's back, yay. Okay, so we're going to go back in for deadlifts again. So again, if you don't have one of these, you could use bands. Or you could do some dumbbells. So again, feet shoulder width, nice wide shoulder width. And from here, we're going to come down, hands outside of the legs against the knees. So we're going to push your knees out while your elbows push in. Chest up, shoulders back, deep breath in. And stand. One. Control it down, bung down. Two. Control it down. The bar's pretty well rubbing up and down my legs. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nicely done. Whew. That's a good one. Okay, so now we're into Renegade Rose again. Take your time with this one. So, so can you guys see how this is different to the other workouts we've done? All the other workouts have been quite high, fast pace. This is really about just taking your time, working your way through it, breathing through the movements, ensuring that you're going through the movement correctly and having a rest in between, okay? It's really important. Diplomats and Guardians is all about in your time. So, whew, from here, Renegade Rose, nice and solid through the shoulders. Row one side, row the other side. Drop them down, do a push up. Come up, row one side, row the other side. And if you're not using anything, you're just doing your own body weight, that's enough. For me, you could potentially do it with, keep going guys, you could potentially do it with a stretch band. So you would go pull, down, pull, down, pull, down. Okay, that's another variation for you. But I'm gonna do it with the dumbbells. Okay, so pull one side, pull the other side, push up. One, two, push up. One, two, push up. And the cool thing is, is do it varied, guys. So um, you like it with the band, yeah. So um, do it varied. Put them down in different spots. So you got to do a different kind of push up each time. Do some of them. So go one, two. I've got it narrow this time, so coming down, narrow push up, press up, one out wide, one out wide, wide push up, and back, row one, normal, normal, normal size push up, two more, row one, row the other one, push up, Whew. row one, other one, push up, oh yeah, Brr. catch your breath. You are allowed to sweat and puff through this one, because I am, well and truly. All right, next one is lunges. So again, barbell up. You can use this. Mandy, you've got kids. If you've got kids, throw the kids on your shoulders. 
uh, on your back like a piggyback and do your lunges with the kids on you for weight. So from here, feet shoulder width, bar up, over the head carefully, resting it just below that knobbly bit on the back of your neck. And from here, we're gonna go into our lunges. So down, push back and push with the heel of the foot. Nice and wide stance, it was a bit narrow that one. Push back, you see I wobbled nice and wide, keep your hips straight, come down, push back. Nice and wide, come down, push back. Wide, push down, come back. Wide, push down, come back. Just remembering guys that we are gonna be doing, so I'm still working for Vulcan in the afternoon, so five hours a day. So at four o'clock on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I'll be doing a video with them. Um, those ones will be on Zoom for them. I can't do Zoom on the phone as well, I don't think. Well, can I? I haven't tried that yet. I will see tonight whether I can do Zoom and then we will see what we can do about having you guys on Zoom so I can see you as well. From here, over the head, drop your bar. So, catch your breath. I'm puffing, you should be puffing too. Mind you though, doing a workout and talking, kind of difficult. You could have music going to this, but I'm talking to you guys, so I really don't need it. Okay, push-ups. So nice and wide grips, knees underneath your hips, pushing forward, don't have your hips back. So I see a lot of people doing this sometimes when they're doing push-up, bum up and I do this. What I want you to do is actually have your hands forward and bring your bum forward. So when you're doing a push-up, your whole body is moving with you. So again, focusing on the negative. Set, one, two, three, four, touch, come back up. One, two, three, four, touch, come back up. One, two, three, four, touch, come back up. Whew, my sweat's turning pink, which means I'm sweating from my head because I think I still have a bit of remnants of color in my hair. <laughs> But you guys can see a bit of a tinge in my hair. Three, four, and up. Three more. One, two, three, four, and up. Actually, I think I said 12 for these. I did. Two, and up. Three more. One, two, three, four, and up. How does that feel doing it on the negative? Can you guys feel that strain a fair bit through? You should be able to feel that the muscles are definitely activating a lot more because you're focusing on the movement. Anyone can bop down and bop back up again, but controlling the negative is actually how you will end up getting better at doing push-ups and eventually we'll be able to bring it on your toes. So next week we'll do some on our toes and I'll show you how to do the same thing and start building up your strength so that you are um, able to do a proper push-up. <laughs> okay, next one is mountain climbers. So I'm gonna bring the mat out of my way and mountain climber. So, if you want the dumbbells there or you want to go flat on your hands, you can choose. But from here, feet back and we're doing the mountain climbers. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Hope you're doing it, Mandy. 17, 18, 19, 20. Ooh, yeah. And shoulders is next. So, the reason why I'm doing it kneeling is one, I'm ensuring I get full glute activation. Two, I'm ensuring that I don't hit my head because I'm kind of underneath cover here. Joys of being our height, right? So, from here, if you're using your um, barbell, we're just gonna squeeze our bum tight, tuck our belly button in, lift over the head, and behind the shoulders or in front, whichever. Actually, a really cool one is actually to alternate. So if you are using a barbell, you can actually go push up and to the front, one, up to the back, two, up to the front, one, two, that's four, six, belly button tight, tuck the wee muscles, tuck your bum cheeks, squeeze all the lower body, Eight, 10, oh yeah, feel the burn. 12. Whew. Good job. Bring it down. Drop it out. Right. 
From here, we're going in with our toe taps. So again, I like doing the laying down side to side toe tap. There's a name that's used for two different styles. So again, you could try this one and come up the tap, which uses more of your upper abdominals. I'm gonna do the side to side one because it uses your upper and your obliques. So bring your feet under your, uh, up to your bum, nice and close, squeeze them up, bring yourself up into the crunch position, bring your abs on, and from here, it's gonna be tap side to side. Okay, so I'll change that around this way for you. Okay, so feet tight, close to your bum. From here, up into the crunch position, abs on, and then we're just tapping side to side. We're going for one, two, three, four, five, six, is there any more? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, push through, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Whoa. Oh yeah, stretch that one out. You should be able to feel that one quite nicely. How's that going for you? Is Mandy, are you doing it or are you still childing? Oh, that's two rounds. How do you feel? You feel alive? Feel on fire? I do. I feel fantastic. Whew. Sweaty, but fantastic. Whew. Catch your breath. If you need a drink of water, grab a drink of water, which I do. Move your body if you need to. Give me some feedback if you're doing the exercises. And then we're going to get straight back into the deadlifts. For diplomats and guardians, it's one to two minutes rest. Get the heart rate back down again. Allow the body to flush out any um, lactic acid buildup. Because diplomats and guardians actually take a lot longer for lactic acid to flush through the system. Activators and connectors and, and crusaders, boom, they're into it. They're able to jump from one thing to the next thing and crusaders just keep on going. If you didn't get a chance to watch, you're doing dinner, cool. If you didn't get a chance to watch my long live today, but I actually went through and explained all the different health types, that was in a public group there. So that was a good one. Um, but it just explains the different dynamics of each of the different health types and all the different perspectives of them. So a total awesome live, that one to go and watch. Totally worth the time. Um, excuse me. <laughs> all right. Third round, I think we'll go three rounds and then we'll be done. Okay, so again coming in, bum down, chest up, arching the back, shoulders together at the back, breathe out, breathe in, and lift one. Control it down, tap up two, bum tight, chest tight, belly on. really well with bands as well doing deadlifts just someone behind me now you're coming down standing up one more good job guys okay next one is our your vibing Vi winning thought vibing thought okay <laughs> Our next is our Renegade Rose. I really should have this up here. Our Renegade Rose again. Last time through, guys. I hope you guys are as sweaty as I am, because it's worth it. Okay, so feet wide, chest tight, and row one side. Row the other side. Do a push up. Row one side. Row the other side. Do a push up. Two. Three, four, I'm going to go narrow this time, seven, finish strong guys, this is the last one I'm going to do, or the last round, maybe you might want to do four, if you're an activator, I challenge you to do four. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Clint. Oh, no, wait. I think the light thing just figured out to turn on. Up. Row one side. Row the other side. 
and press. Good job, guys. Pop them out of the way. Whew, lunges. All right. Okay, so lunges back here, standing up above the head, mat out of the way. Okay, ready and lunging. Down, press, push back. And I'm actually dragging my foot back, which adds extra resistance on your abductors, which is these ones, the muscles that bring your legs together. Down, press, pull back. Down, press, pull back. Down, press through the heel. I didn't see the one you had stuck to the roof. No, no, behind. The, where it's plugged in behind you, there's a light that'll shine back on you. Ah, brilliant. <laughs> Push back. We're almost there, guys. A couple more. Push back. Down. Press. Push back. Down. Press. Push back. Last one. Down. Press. Push back. Lunge. Bring the band, the weight down. Pop it on the ground. And we're in for some push-ups. The dog was like, I don't understand why you can. Just let me have this. Knees nice and wide. And we're gonna have four seconds down again. One, two, three, four. Press up. One, two, three, four. Press up. Your nose might run like mine does, because I actually had a bit dairy last night, so I get a bit of a runny nose. And plus, it's, a lot of this work is actually with our heads down, so it's very, very natural for the body to want to eliminate whilst it's in this position. So that's all that really happens is the body's just taking a great opportunity to eliminate some stuff out of the system. So once you finish training, make sure you go blow your nose and do a wee press. Three, four, and up. We've got three to go. One, two, three, four. And up, one, two, three, four. Squeeze the shoulders back, up, one, two, three, four. And done. Nice. Catch your breath, we're into mountain climbers. Do it with the dumbbells again. Okay, let's push it through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then we have shoulders. Last two exercises, guys. Hang in there. I'm sweating. It is good. All right, so. Again, feet shoulder width apart, knees shoulder width apart, squeeze your bum cheeks, belly tight, lifting up, and we're gonna press up, down. Two, belly button tight, three, take it back, four, front, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, you did it. Ooh, I sure felt that one on the last rep. Okay, toe taps. And then we're done, guys. Good job for sticking in that with me. Coming in, touching, never up here. All tight, and let's tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I've got sweat running in my eyes, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh my gosh. How good was that? Oh. My body's saying, well, that was hard, but that was wonderful. All parts of you should be swishy now. All parts of you should feel stimulated and alive. 
catch your breath. If you're an activator and you're not ready to chill yet, maybe you might want to go for some skipping. Maybe you want to finish off and do a couple minutes of skipping. Um, it's up to you. Maybe you want to take the dog for a walk. Apparently they just released that we're not allowed out in more than groups of two. Um, so if you're heading out with extra people, you will be in trouble, apparently. So if you're going shopping, I don't know how they're going to handle that. Maybe you're only allowed to be you and your partner and your children. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get what they're trying to do there. Push these ones out because we've done a bit of abductor work here. So give this one a really good squeeze. However your legs are comfortable, do your shoulder stretch. Other side. Oh, they're tight tonight. Those shoulder workouts did good because we did the shoulder presses. Plus the mountain climbers and the renegade rows really uses your shoulders as well. So you will definitely, definitely be feeling it there. Tomorrow's workout, I will use bands. Um, and at four o'clock, so we'll use some bands and we will just do a standing, yeah, standing um, quad stretch. Good. And the other side. Good. And the other one we want to do is actually a chest stretch. So I'm going to bring you guys up. I love that I have a magnet on this phone. Look how sweaty I am. That's a toxic release. The other one is using a door frame or a pole and just bringing your arm against it like this. And from here, you want to step past it and open out that chest. <sighs> open out that chest. Good job. Change your sides. Open out that chest. Keep your body straight. Try not to twist. Keep your torso straight. The only thing that's happening is your arm is just behind you. And open out your chest. <sighs> Good job, guys. How'd that feel? Tell me your feedback. Let me know how that went for you. My body absolutely loved that. As you can see, I'm sweating like no tomorrow. I can't find a dry bit of material on me. <laughs> That's what it wants. That's what they, um, even though it wasn't a full pace, you can take as long as you need to have a break in the middle there. But with everything being so stressful around us at the moment, this sort of stuff is really important. Like being on top of your physical health, there's been no time that's been more important than this right now. So make the time for these workouts. Make the time, get it done. Do variations. Share with me a sweaty selfie afterwards. Post it into the group or maybe maybe share your a picture of your workout area or something like that to show us that you're doing it. Um, get creative, guys. The more you get involved with this, the more everyone gets involved with this. So how's about we all do our part? Love you guys.